And I want an efficient, well-written. You don't have to be fast everywhere. Choose places on this course where you can balance up, like after the triple bar. I don't want you racing over to that turn. Take your time to balance up, get your horse organized, and then show me a really good turn. But I don't. I want balance in between. Up there after the Liverpool, I want. Ba I don't want you to fly over there and see how quickly you can get to the turn. I want to see how slowly you can get to the turn with balance, and then show me a lightning fast turn. That's how you do it. That's how you win jump offs. You don't just flat out without any regard to the horse's balance. You pick and choose where you can lay it all on the line. You pick and choose where you need to balance and just take a breath to make sure you don't run out of gas before you get to the last jump. Running out of gas, just running out of horse or running out of balance. All right. All right, Catherine. balancing enough with your feet. Shoulders means your feet is, your shoulders are balancing against your feet. Take the time now. That wasn't a very good preparation. Take your time. Go around the marker one time and then make the turn. Do one turn around the marker, the second turn inside. Take your time to give your horse a chance to succeed. Your second turn was even tighter than your first one. He was already confused over the first one. Help him understand what you want. Now slide inside the turn, inside the marker. Shoulders back, balance with your seat and your shoulders. That's it, less arm, more shoulders. Support, 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 support! He's got your number a little bit. Now another turn to the right, just around the marker. Uh, just around the marker. Okay, now just inside the marker. Move in just a little bit. Sit up, shoulders back, hug that marker. All right. So you're trying to turn a little too much with your hands. When you use your shoulder without even realizing it, you're incorporating your feet, balancing your feet. Using your shoulders as leverage against your feet, so that's helping a horse set and balance. Especially down turn to the triple bar, you try to turn way too much with this right arm, rather than sitting up and helping him balance. So he stops it because he's a little out of balance. You know, he doesn't think he can jump it. So you make a little bigger turn for a while until he gets his trust back. He didn't think he could jump from there because his balance wasn't what it needed to be. And his mind wasn't really with you. Okay, next one. But good, you made a good recovery and a good correction there. Now I want you to gallop down there and do that line again. This is another horse with a big heart. Without the, without coming from the skinny fence, just do that line on its own so you have a little nicer approach. So you have a chance to meet it off a forward stride and, and get the correct distance in there. But I love that he tried. 
tried anyway, even though we added extra stride. Keep going, keep going. You want to gallop up to it, not hold back. All right, the two officers were good. And then you landed, and how did you bring him back? With your hands, not your shoulders. If I could just cut your arms off and attach the rein to your shoulder, I would get the, re the response that I wanted. You always feel too quick to go back to your hands. That little nip, 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 instead of realizing that just the leverage of your upper body is so much stronger and helps the horse be in so much better balance. All right, guys. 